The sun does more than for our planet than just providing light during the daytime. Each particle of sunlight called a photon that reaches the Earth contains energy that fuels our planet. Solar energy is the ultimate source responsible for weather systems and energy sources on Earth and enough solar radiation hits the surface of the planet each hour to theoretically fill our global energy needs for nearly an entire year. Where does all of this energy come from? Our sun, like any star in the galaxy, is like a massive nuclear reactor. Deep in the sun's core, nuclear fusion reactions produce massive amounts of energy that radiates outward from the sun's surface and into space in the form of light and heat. Solar energy comes from the sun and can be captured with various technologies, mainly solar panel. Solar panel is designed to observe the sun's rays as a source of energy for generating electricity or heating. Solar panels contain multiple solar cells. Solar cells or photocells turn light energy from the sun directly into direct current electricity. How do solar cells work? Solar cells are made from very thin silicon. A solar cell consists of layers of silicon which are known as n-type and p-type. An electric field is formed at the boundary between the two silicon layers. This field will force any free electrons in the solar cell to move in one direction. Different wavelengths of light are absorbed by the silicon layers. When the light with enough energy is absorbed, it causes the release of free electrons in the cell. The free electrons are attracted by the electric field and so move into the n-type layer. The n-type layer is now negatively charged due to the extra electrons and the p-type layer is now positively charged. This means that there is a charge imbalance in the solar cell. The charge imbalance causes a potential difference across the cell and so the electrons flow along the wire through the circuit and back into the cell where the process continues. The amount of electricity a solar panel can produce depends on two factors, its surface area and the light intensity. Surface area is a measure of how much exposed area a solid object has. The greater the surface area, the greater the amount of energy can be harnessed. Light intensity refers to the strength or amount of light produced by a specific light source. Solar cells are very useful where the light intensity is highest. Solar cells can be used very effectively in the right situation. Producing enough electricity to power a town would require a very large area of solar panels. But covering the roof of a house can meet the annual electricity needs of the household. Solar cells are also useful where low amounts of power are needed. Calculators only require a small amount of electricity. So most calculators now use solar cells in place of batteries. This solar-powered street light removes the need to lay electricity cables to the light, which is another benefit to the environment. Christmas lights and garden bulb are now also powered by solar energy.